Hello and welcome back to Distractor Course. In this lecture, we will understand how to connect your external MIDI controller to Tractor. As we already know, there are controllers with built-in audio interface and others without, the so-called DAM controllers. In this last case, you will also need to configure an external audio interface or your built-in audio interface as seen in the previous lecture. Let's now open the Preferences window and let's select Controller Manager from the left-hand side menu. On the right-hand side of the Preferences window, we can now configure our controller device by selecting it from the Device drop-down menu. Just a note, in Tractor you can control the software even from the computer's keyboard, but I strongly suggest you to use even a cheap external controller, so you can better access all the software functions more easily. If you need to purchase a new controller, be sure at first that its structure mapping is provided with the hardware itself. You can check all compatible controllers in the device menu list, or you can directly import your own via add import mapping function. Note that all tractor mappings have the extension .tsi in the file name. Let's now focus on the MIDI in and out ports. The MIDI in is the port where tractor will receive MIDI commands from the controller, while MIDI out port is used when tractor sends a message to the controller. In example, if your deck is playing a track and your controller has the play button with a feedback LED, the MIDI out port will tell the controller to light it on. On the other hand, if you press play on the controller, a MIDI message will be sent from the controller to Tractor via the MIDI import, and the deck will play the track. By default, MIDI in and out ports are set to all and should be changed to your physical MIDI port that usually has the same name of the controller. In order to avoid confusion with your MIDI setup, be sure to select the appropriate MIDI device for each MIDI mapping instead of leaving it on all ports. If you notice problems with your controller, try to isolate the problem. Disable the mappings by selecting the in and out ports to known. Then set the in and out ports only for your controller and try again. You can also create your custom mapping by adding a generic MIDI mapping. We will see a little mapping customization in the second part of this course. Let's now sum up what you need to do in order to correctly use your controller with Tractor. Open up the setup window. Select your controller from the device drop down menu or import it from the add import function. Be sure to select the appropriate MIDI in port and the MIDI out port if your controller supports feedbacks from Tractor. Now try to move some faders or press some buttons on your controller and check if the MIDI in LED on your software indicates activity. If yes, we have finished to configure the audio and MIDI setup in Tractor, and we are ready to move on to the next lecture.